Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another round of Storytime with Nick. Today's story is entitled, The Long-Awaited Day Has Come. Now, this pertains to Hurricane Sandy. And sorry if you see a little bit of a tail flapping around. Uh, I've got a certain guest with me who decided she wanted to take a nap in my lap. A nap lap. So, this has to do with Sandy. This is the day that we are all been waiting for. The day of the storm. <laughs> so, this was what we'd been waiting for for basically a while now. That day, I remember, there was no sun at all for the entire day. It was just clouds upon clouds upon clouds. The morning, it was just clouds. Towards the afternoon, there started to be a bit of a light rain that really didn't seem to pick up that much. It was just sort of what you'd see like towards the edge of a heavy thunderstorm where things start winding down. It was just light rain for about four or five hours. Now, because this was October, the, the sun did set a little earlier, so night did fall a little earlier. So for most of the day, it was dark and cloudy, but when the sun started going down is when the rain started picking up audibly. We could really hear it start to pick up. And it was like, okay, I guess the show's finally started then. Better late than never. Let's just get this over with. So, so the wind starts picking up at around the same time, and we can hear it. It, it was sort of that effect where you can, that weird wind type sound. Now, in this house, we get it with the windows because the windows fucking suck and they have no seals whatsoever. Um, in the old house, it was with the AC because I was with my mother at the time in the living room because I was like, you know what? Let me just camp out here with her and just see what happens. So the sun's starting to go down, starting to get dark. There's no sun. It's been cloudy all day. The rain is picking up and the wind is picking up and it's making those weird wind sounds that you'd hear out of something like a fucking horror movie. So, I think at around 7 o'clock is when we really notice that that wind is starting to sound threateningly loud. That wind is starting to sound threateningly loud. We've got a huge problem on our hands. That wind is picking up, and it is picking up fast. It wasn't like hour by hour type thing where the wind started to pick up. It was at first, but it was very little. At this point, the wind fucking picks up like that. Like minute by minute, you hear that wind become far more intense than it was in the last minute. And the rain started picking up too, by a lot. Very quickly, we could hear that. We could hear the rain hitting the house harder to start with, one, because of the wind that was helping it, but two, because there was a lot more rain coming down in one shot than there was earlier in the day. So at that point, we know that they weren't kidding and the storm has come for us. And for the first hour or so, we have no real problem. But at around 8 o'clock, 8 to 8.30 is when the lights flicker for the first time. They don't go straight out. They... They dim, and then they come back on. And then about five minutes later, they dim and come back on. And then they dim and come back on one more time. And then, at around 9 o'clock, is when the lights go out for the first time. And they're out, they're out for about 35 seconds, and then they do come back on. But they're not long... But they're not on for any longer than that, because another 30 or 35 seconds out, another 30 or 35 seconds later, they're out. And that was the last time we had lights for nine days. And at that point, after a couple minutes, we said, the lights are gone, this storm is the real deal. And at that point, okay, bye, Moon. <laughs> at that point, we were like, okay, we have no lights. We have a problem. We have a big fucking problem. So we decide, you know what? There's no use in just sitting around. Let's just go to bed. 
and I can hear the fucking house shaking. My mother can hear it too. And we can feel it too. It's just like... With the wind pushing it around. This was a house built in like the late 40s, early 50s. So it was an old house. It's still up there now. This was a house from the days of oil burners. And... Um, and radiators for heating and wall mounted ACs for cooling. So we realized that the lights weren't coming back. At this point, probably no one had lights in the entire town, maybe not even the entire state. And we could really hear the water running. I mean, I mean that and not just we could hear it hitting the house. We could literally hear it flowing down the street because at that point it had formed a fucking river that even in pitch black darkness, we could see clearly there was a river running down our streets. Luckily, our house was sort of on this little raised portion. So it's not like the water was flowing towards us. It was actually flowing away from us. It was flowing down the street, at least away from us. But still, there was a fucking moving river in what used to be a street a couple minutes ago. So at that point, we really knew it was like, okay, this is really bad. Let's just hope that we go to sleep and we wake up and the house is still in one piece. And actually, thankfully it was. Well, apart from a few shingles. But the night had come and gone. And when I had woken up, I said to myself, was that real? And when I get up, I just go to turn on the TV and I realize, oh, that's right. It was real. And I see my mother behind me like, good, you're up. I've got candles, just so you know for later. Because those candles had, it turns out, come in handy. We didn't need them last night because we just wanted to sleep off the storm, but they were going to be useful for however many nights we needed them because fucking hell. So Sandy had done its work and now we're without power. We're without lights. At least we have gas, but now it's time to survey the damage and see just how bad it actually was outside from moving our house a couple inches here and there and also getting rid of our lights. Now that part of the story, you're gonna see coming up next. So for now, I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.